Back by popular demand, guess who's returned to the sky blue and white? Leo Brown signing with the club just before the transfer deadline. Uh, Leo signed in uh, difficult circumstances for Coventry Spings. So do you think your uh, arrival was well timed? Yeah, I think um, obviously what happened with Shepherd and stuff, it's just a perfect timing for me to come in and take his, take his place for him. Well, what did you get the call from Coventry Spinks? Obviously, the, um, it was announced yesterday that uh, Shippo was injured. Uh, did you hear from the club before that? Yeah, it was Tuesday night, so it's a pretty short short period of time. So it was done really quickly, thanks to um, Sharon and uh, Fargo at the uh, Alpha Church as well. So yeah, it was done nice, quick, and easy. Well, you had a brilliant spell here on loan. A couple of goals in a uh, couple of games on uh, on your month loan. You went back to Alpha Church. You seem to be doing quite well. Uh, how hard of a Decision was it to uh, to leave our church? Yeah, obviously, like I love love the club in it. Um, had a lot of good memories of the FA Cup and stuff. And uh, yeah, it was a hard decision to make. But obviously, I'm still young, and um, I feel like I deserve a chance. So, and I wasn't getting it there, so I had to just move on and just put that behind me and go somewhere else. Well, of course, a player of your quality is always going to have suitors. But uh, when you got the call from uh, the Spinks management, did you know instantly you were going to come back here? Yeah, it was it was a no brainer. Obviously, there's not many games left, and you know you, when you're moving and you're trying to find somewhere else, you factor in setting in with the lads and the environment you're in. And obviously, being here before, it's comfortable. You know, there's only seven games left, so yeah, it was an easy decision to make. Well, a couple of new attackers in the team now. Uh, Cam Moore signed a couple of weeks ago from Loughborough. Uh, Tyler Haddo in the lineup as well, as well as uh, uh, another Leo, uh, Leo Wood. Um, a lot, a lot of uh, new partnerships to get your teeth into. Are you looking forward to uh, looking at what you do, uh, attacking teammates? Yeah, I've been, I've been keeping an eye on I watch all the highlights and stuff. I think you're a great commentator, so... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I watch all the highlights and, um, you know, you've done, had some very close calls against some top teams in the league. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's exciting to come back and see how much he's improved. Well, some believe that after Saturday's results, the Spinks were almost safe. Gresley and Russian and Diamonds had other ideas yesterday, both winning. So, do you think you can have uh, what it takes to get Spinks over that finish line? Yeah, I mean they're not far. I think you're like nine, nine or ten points clear um, from the bottom. So you know, a couple, couple wins, and hopefully the results go your way. But I think uh, a team with this quality should be looking to take every game on and keep get as many points as possible. And finally, a real feast of football coming up on uh, Easter weekend. Saturday against your old club, Sutton Coalfield, Monday away at Lye. You've joined at the perfect time, really. Are you raring to go for uh, both games? Yeah, I can't wait. Obviously, a few familiar faces at Sutton, so it'll be nice to, it'll be nice to get a game against them. And then Lye is always a tough place to go to. Played there once before, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Well, we are looking forward to seeing you back in the sky, blue and white. Leo, welcome back. Cheers, thank you.